Hey everyone, it's Stacey Nicole here with Testing Us Scraps, and I'm here with a project like kit. Now I've decided to do something a little different. Since I use all my stash from September to January, I decided to make one big old kit from sept for September through November. Um, for December, I'm doing December daily, and I have stuff left over from last year that I never got to do December daily. I don't know, I'm a little bit jinxed when it comes to December daily. I've tried it for like two or three years in a row, and I seem to get pneumonia and I'm hospitalized. <laughs> so I'm almost afraid to try to do December daily, but that's besides the point. So I decided to make a huge kit from September, October, and November out of my stash because obviously I only use my stash from September to January. So I had a lot of stuff left over from last year. I wanted to do a November daily. Long story short, I wanted to pay it forward for my brother, and which I did pay it forward. Every day of November, I tried to do something new or something different and pay it forward to somebody. I gave random gift cards out. Um, I gave, um, I paid for people's meals and different little things. And hopefully, not only did it honor my brother, but hopefully other people paid it forward as well. Because when I did a random act of kindness, I always put a tag on there, pay, please pay it forward. Or, you know, something to that extent. So... I had all this good stuff, and I apologize the dog's barking because Clark is in the back, annoying it, apparently. Um, I apologize. Um, so I had all this stuff left over from November Daily because I started it, got like halfway through, and I just never finished it. So I decided just to chuck it, and I hate doing that, but that's what I did. So I have all these paper pads. The first one is Echo Park. Um, it's dots and stripes. Really cute. Really pretty colors. The second one is Photo Play by Fall Breeze. Photo Play Fall Breeze, not by Fall Breeze. Photo play fall breeze, and this is the one thing about this paper pad I can't stand. This this pattern, I don't know, it just gets to me. Do you see it? Do you see what bothers me? Let's see if you see it first. Okay, here's the thing. I see snowmen. Those three pumpkins <laughs> remind me of snowmen. I don't know what, no what it is. I don't I don't know. It just gets me. I still have some cut aparts left in here. Um, well, quite a few little different pieces of paper there. I don't know what it is. It's so funny how certain things get to you in papers. I don't know. And then uh, this one is Echo Park Celebrate Autumn. Really cute. Again, a lot of cut aparts left. A lot of papers left. Really pretty patterns. I got some scraps there. And this next one is also from Echo Park. And it was called, it was, it is called A Perfect Autumn. I apologize. I am butchering words today. I can't talk right six days a week it's just getting to me and i'm wore out and can't speak and that's what i do want at work i'm on the phone i'm customer service i'm on the phone and i'm talking to customers all the time so <laughs> so when i come home it seems like i i can't speak i don't know what it is ah sorry about that can't really get all this goodness really cute patterns though really cute patterns lots of scraps left there and then last but not least of my fall um, paper pads is this Oakley Avenue by Pretty Little Studio. So I really got a great fall colors going here. I got some turquoises, some reds, orange and yellows. Um, but pretty much what you see there is pretty much my colors. So there's that. So to go with that, um, I picked a couple different paper pads um, from my stash, of course. Um, this one is Goldenrod One Canoe Two by by One Canoe Two, and it is really let me move that out of the way. It's really really pretty paper patterns, and it, it's kind of bringing some navies in. It's also bringing this kind of peachy, kind of pink orange color in as well. But it's got the yellows, it's got the greens, and I thought that would work. Really cute, and I haven't used too much of this paper pad up, so I'm excited to get to use that. Um, this one is from Cedar Lane, um, American Crafts, and it's kind of got a fall vibe to it. Got some leaf, leaf pattern here, and I think there's acorns somewhere on here. Really pretty floral. There's those acorns, and I like the dark browns, and again, it's bringing that peach in. It's also bringing that kind of tealish turquoise color in as well, and as yellows too. Um, this one really surprised me that I have so much of this left. Like, I really don't... I think I've used hardly any of this paper pad. It's falling apart, but I hardly have used any of it. It's Fancy Pants Golden Days, and I love this paper pad. It kind of shocked me that I haven't used very much of it. Really cute, really pretty patterns. 
there's that. And then uh, this is the Gather Collection. It kind of brings up peaches in, uh, kind of pinks, um, a couple other colors as well. Kind of neutral colors, but also has the blue that I was bringing in with some others, the navy blue color. And then I'm not going to flip through this one because it's pretty basic because it's snap basics. Got some wood patterns there. And uh, this one is also from Fancy Pants. It's Magnolia Moments. Um, it's bringing that navy blue back in as well as some neutral colors. Really pretty patterns. So that is my paper pads. Let me put that back away. Now you cannot have a kit without enamel dots in my book. So, uh, <laughs> so I brought some gems too. I rated my gems. Now I've been separating my gems and my enamel dots. My gems pretty much are usually for card making. Hoping maybe to get some cards made as well as do Project Life out of this kit. It is a huge kit. All kinds of gems. If those don't speak fall to you, I don't know what will. Got some basic gray enamel dots that I really have not used very much of. I think this, it would be great if these would get used because I kid you not, these have to be at least four years old. Um, Joann's carried these by Teresa Collins and I remember they were marked down for like a dollar and I bought like two or three of each one and I'm finally down to the nitty gritty here. So it would be nice to get those used up. These are from the Reset Girl. Um, I thought the greens definitely would work. So would the yellows and the turquoises. Uh, these ones are pretty used up, but I thought I'd go and finish them off. Those are from the Perfect Autumn. I have some random word stickers. These ones are from Pretty Little Studio. Um, they are fall themed. It talks about falling leaves, hot cocoa, breezy autumn day. And then, I don't know. Let me find a piece of paper here. Maybe. Maybe. Uh-huh. Aha. That was probably not the best pick, but you can kind of see. I got some random clear stickers left over and I thought maybe I could get those used up. That would be nice. Those were from Paper Studio, I believe. And then I got some puffy stickers as well from Paper Studio. Some little leaves. Those are cute. Okay, that is that. I grabbed uh, quite a few washi to kind of give me a good variety. I really love um, the browns for some reason. Don't know why those are capturing my eye today, but they are. And if this does not keep me occupied, look at all that ephemera. I don't know what will uh, keep me occupied if this doesn't. I mean, I have so much ephemera. So first and foremost, this is uh, just ephemera from my stash. I picked some oranges. I got some like of that peachy orange in there too. I got some yellows, some greens, some navies, some reds, and then turquoise. So hopefully that will keep me busy. And then I also have, before I forget, before I get to that, I also have a little jar here, a little bowl of the little bits of ephemera because I don't want them to get lost in the bottom of the basket. So this is pretty much all my ephemera left over from November Daily. I mean all of it. It's just crazy. And it's pretty much from all those collections. I pretty much bought every piece of ephemera from all those collections um, the, of the 6x6 paper pads. See, I still have the... <laughs> I saw the tags for it, but a ton, a chock full. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to dive into this. So much fun. Okay, I'm just saying, pump, that's supposed to be pumpkins, but it looks like a snowman. I'm just saying, it drives me crazy. Don't know what it is. All right, guys, that is my kit for September, October, and November. I hope you enjoy, and thank you for listening to me and my crazy antics. I appreciate it. All right, thanks for watching.